Picture this. You walk out to your garden one morning, pull back a layer of mulch, and the soil beneath is wriggling with life. Earthworms, dozens of them, busily weaving through dark, moist soil like a living web of fertility. That exact moment is when you realize you've tapped into nature's most powerful gardening ally, and all it took was burying one simple thing under your mulch organic food for the soil. No fancy tools, no fertilizers, just the right materials in the right place and nature took care of the rest. If you've ever struggled to get earthworms into your raised beds or clay soil, this is the strategy you need. Many gardeners unknowingly chase worms away by keeping the soil surface dry, applying sterile mulches, or not feeding the underground life consistently. But once you learn how to attract worms with intentional layering, you begin to transform your beds into a self-feeding ecosystem. And that's when everything changes. Moisture retention improves, soil structure softens, roots grow deeper and stronger and you can step back and let the system work for you. Let's break it down. Worms are drawn to decomposing organic matter, especially materials rich in moisture and nutrients like kitchen scraps, overripe fruits, garden waste, or partially decomposed compost. But the key to success is not dumping these on the surface where they dry out, attract pests, or rot inefficiently. The secret is to bury them just beneath the mulch layer where warmth, darkness and consistent moisture allow microbes to get to work. Once decomposition begins in that protected zone, the scent of microbial activity sends a signal underground. Worms come racing, sometimes literally overnight. In one trial, a mix of chopped vegetable scraps, coffee grounds, and soft plant material was buried directly beneath shredded leaf mulch in a raised bed. Within three days, worm castings began appearing on the surface. By the end of the second week, the mulch layer lifted easily to reveal a dense population of red wigglers and nightcrawlers actively converting that organic material into humus. No turning, no compost bin, just simple soil feeding done right. This method, you know, really mimics natural ecosystems. On forest floors, organic debris falls and is gradually buried by falling leaves. Moisture and shade keep the decay process slow and stable. Fungi, bacteria, and worms all work together in harmony to digest the material right where it lies. Your garden can do the same thing. Raised beds especially benefit from this technique since they tend to dry out faster and often rely on imported soil that, well, lacks native worm populations, but once you introduce food and protect it under a soft mulch layer, the transformation is honestly pretty swift. To do this effectively, you'll want to choose soft, easily digestible organic material. Kitchen scraps like lettuce trimmings, banana peels, apple cores, melon rinds, and coffee grounds work beautifully. Just avoid meat, dairy, or oily foods, since those attract pests. If you have compost that's not fully finished, maybe still a little chunky or damp, that's perfect too. Dig a shallow trench or pocket in your bed, place the material inside, and cover it right away with mulch. The mulch locks in moisture, balances temperature, and prevents odors or flies. You can create feeding zones throughout your garden by rotating where you bury material every few weeks. This makes sure that the worms are drawn to different areas, gradually improving the entire bed. Over time, the network of tunnels they create boosts aeration, root penetration, and water infiltration. And the castings they leave behind, pure gold. Rich in plant-available nutrients and teeming with beneficial microbes, worm castings actually outperform even the best commercial fertilizers when it comes to building long-term soil health. For an extra boost, you can scrape a handful of topsoil from a virgin area, like a nearby field, forest edge, or old uncultivated patch, and mix it into your buried organic matter. This introduces native microbes and beneficial fungi to kickstart decomposition. It's kind of like seeding your garden with a microbial army ready to go to work. Many gardeners report seeing visible results within a month of starting this practice. Plants near the buried zones grow faster, retain their green color longer, and show better resistance to drought. Soil that was once dry, hard, or lifeless becomes dark and crumbly. And if you keep up the habit, adding fresh food under mulch every two to three weeks, you can maintain a thriving underground ecosystem with minimal effort. It's the ultimate lazy composting method, and it works all season long. 
Some gardeners even take this method a step further, building worm pockets or feeding stations within their beds, small holes filled with scraps and topped with mulch, spaced evenly across the garden. These act as worm hotels, providing food and shelter while reducing the need for turning or digging. Over time, the worms move naturally through the bed, spreading fertility in every direction. The beauty of this approach is that it requires no additional space, no fancy bins, and no waiting for a compost pile to finish. You're feeding the soil exactly where it matters most, at root level. And unlike surface composting, which can dry out or attract pests, this method keeps the entire process invisible, clean, and efficient. If you've been struggling to bring life back into tired soil, this might be your missing link. Worms are nature's engineers. Feed them well, and they'll build the soil for you. No tiller needed, no fertilizers required. Just bury the right stuff under your mulch and let the magic unfold beneath your feet. If this guide opened your eyes to how simple worm attraction can be, subscribe to Hydrohaven for more underground strategies that actually work. Share this with a fellow gardener who's still stuck turning piles or buying fertilizer. Because sometimes all it takes is burying one handful of scraps and the worms will do the rest.